Check it out. I'm going to drop this video. And uh, I want to speak on alcohol. You get a lot of questions that, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, if they could have a few drinks or if this program, you know, that I have for my team members where they're having these amazing transformations, you know, is it going to affect me if I drink in occasions, you know, if I drink here and there, you know, it's, and they always tell me, you know, I'm in control, you know, obviously, you know, to me, if they're asking that question, you know, honestly, you know, you're not in control because if you were in control, you wouldn't be asking that question. You wouldn't be addressing that question of if I could have a few drinks here and there and I could still get the results that I want. You know, is it going to affect my progress? It's gonna, if, is it going to slow me down on me getting the results because of the alcohol, because of my occasionally uh, drinking here and there? And they always go like, not like every day, you know, just here and there uh, in the weekends and occasions. I already know what that is. I've been there. I've done that. You know, I thought I was in control, which I didn't drink every day. There's levels, you know, there's people that drink every day. You know, after work, they got to stop at the liquor store and get their 12 pack every day. It's just automatic. You know, that's just you know, the habit that they have. I wasn't like that. I didn't have beers in my fridge. You know, <clears throat> I only drank it, you know, in occasions or I only drank, uh, you know, beers when, uh, you know, my boys uh, used to pull up. Uh, they will come with, uh, you know, a 12 pack because it's like, it was a habit that we had, you know, just pull up and, and make sure, you, you know, bring some beer just, you know, to do something, I guess, you know, that's just what we had, you know, that's something that we had uh, instilled in us, you know, growing up, you know, don't show up empty handed. So it's like something that, you know, we, um, you know, we developed throughout the years, you know, and um, it just became a habit. You know, did, did you really want to drink that day? Probably sometimes no, but you just drank it because they were there. You know, if it, the beer is there, it's just we wouldn't let it go to waste. We started drinking. And even me being a you know, a drinker, uh, you know, so-called in control, you know, it would always set me back, man. And a lot of you guys, if you guys are honest with yourselves, uh, that's setting you back. Because if I, you know, if I'm here asking if, you know, alcohol, you know, is permitted in your program or is it going to affect me or is it going to slow down my uh, progress, you have an issue. There's a problem because, uh, it would have never, you know, uh, it should have never been addressed or brought up. And uh, I know what that leads to, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you just keep going on. Uh, most of us have that mentality. You know, you cannot just have one. So you just, you know, carry on. And uh, next thing you know, you're going out for another run, a beer run. Uh, we all know that. We all know how it goes. It do doesn't necessarily mean that it has a hold on you or, you know, you're a drunk that can't handle his or, you know, it's just, uh, you know, something that we do. It's like it's normal to us, but obviously it's hindering us. It's slowing down our progress because that's what it used to do to me. And I know it's doing that to a lot of you guys out there. A lot of coaches that, you know, want to say, you know what, you know, it's, you know, if you could control it, if you're in control, you know, I don't see why not. That's why alcohol is a macro, you know, it's a macro nutrient as well. And it's counted. Some people, they'll count that the calories that a beer has or, you know, uh, liquor has or, you know, uh, tequila has, you know, and it's usually about, you know, nine uh, grams, you know, so it's up there, you know, the calories are high anyway. So, and that's liquid calories. So obviously, of course, you're going to fall off. You're going to get to a point where you're just going to end up saying fuck it because, uh, you know, you're not thinking right no more. And you ain't going to count those calories. You're not going to be precise there measuring your shots or your beer or even if you get low carb beer that now they're trying to make all kinds of, you know, beer fit your macros or make it seem like, oh, this one's like lower in carbs, you know, because they already know they, they caught on to that. So they, you know, obviously they're marketing it well. So you could be, oh, well, this one's low carb, you know, it's a low carb beer. 
So, you know, obviously, you know, I could handle these, but here we go again. Everything's in moderation. We exceed moderation, especially if something, you know, a substance that's gonna, uh, you know, uh, clog your thinking, it's gonna fog your thinking, you know, you're not gonna be thinking right. You're not gonna be in control. It's gonna take over your feelings, your emotions, whatever you're feeling, whether it's happiness, you might be feeling happy, joyful, you're feeling good. I'm not necessarily mean that, oh, you drink to just, you know, drown your sorrows. There are some people that drink out of, you know, just to be happy, you know, they're, they're feeling good and they're having a good, you know, a, a, a good uh, talk with their partners that they haven't seen, their homeboys, their friends that they haven't seen for a long time. So, uh, you know, you get carried away. You know, you don't focus and pay attention. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Damn it, allergies. Uh, pay attention on what you're consuming. So, you know, to me, I see it as like, you know, it, it's gotta go. You know, there is no way that you're gonna be able to pull it off. I already know. You know, even if you have a strong mindset, I've seen so many people just uh, have big setbacks just because they, they overconsume or they get too happy and they just end up saying fuck it. And then they think that they're gonna do cardio the next day and sweat it off and do double up on the, you know, on their workouts the whole weeks. You know, you're just creating a bad habit and you're uh, being delusional on how this works. You know, so my opinion on that, my opinion is that I, I straight tell them, now it has to go. You got to drop everything, you know, everything that's not benefiting you or helping you, you know, get to the next level or have a better life. It has to go. If it's holding you from getting the results you're after, it has to go because obviously, you know, that's been one of the problems in your life. And, you know, if we were to have a poll here, like how much damage has alcohol done then good uh it's done a lot more damage than good so like i said you know even if you're in control whatever you know you want to you know sit here and argue and debate you know that's just my opinion and uh like i said i dropped it you know i haven't had a sip or a drop of alcohol of any kind in uh five years and um like i said you know that was setting me back all the time i used to go you know from zero to a hundred, you know, from Monday to uh, Friday to the T. Even Friday, you know, um, it started uh, diminishing my di uh, my discipline as I got, you know, uh, heavier on like just letting myself go and, and seeking more comfort. Because Monday to Friday was like golden. I had to do it, you know, you're in a routine. You know, you're getting up, going to work, coming home, hitting your workouts, hitting your meals, you're good, you know. And the weekend is where everybody cracks. Everybody lets loose. Everybody lets off the gas. So I already knew that was my my weakness, you know. And like I said, it wasn't that I just love drinking or I used to mask my pain with drinking. A lot of times it was just to have a good time at what we called it or just to, um, you know, have something to do with something to drink while you're just there chilling with your boys, you know, talking about whatever, you know, whatever you guys want to speak about or whatever whatever the the plans were for that day you know it's like it was automatic that you used to that you you had to have a beer you know and most of you guys know that you know like that's the way we've been raised that's the way we've been groomed it's just the, our environment you know uh taught us that and um we just picked picked it up you know and continue the cycle until somebody you know has to step up and uh break that cycle man because like i said you know i had to do it on my side because i knew it was you know not you know, doing any good for me. There was no purpose. I was drinking and I wasn't getting nothing out of it. Just a bunch of regret and uh, just even um, becoming lazier and sloppier. So like I said, for all you guys are asking me, you know, if you could pull it off and get the results, you know, while drinking in occasion, in occasions, or, you know, if you're a moderate drinker, whatever that is, whatever you're you know, your, you know, scenario is on what moderating drinking is to you. You know, a lot of people, it's just like, they put these words and uh, uh, they're beyond that, you know? So let's check that. And uh, that's all I got to say, man. Whatever is holding you back from accomplishing the goals that you want, got to go. Whatever it is, weed, alcohol, 
bad vices, especially food, you know, overconsumption. That's all it is, you know. You just got to ask yourself, is this holding me back from getting the outcome that I want? Plain and simple. If the answer is yes, then it has to go. Simple as that. Let's run it.